Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do a reverse flower dip. Uh, and here in Slovenia it's kind of looking, smelling like early spring. So I will use this white mixed with a little bit of pistachio in it for my background. And I will use Amsterdam Indigo this little piggy pigments funk and this little piggy pigments agapanthus and Windsor and Newton permanent magenta and Arteza uh, pearl lilac and I will put my base coat down and we'll be back okay <clears throat> okay so my base coat it is down and i will use this 3d printed flower shaped cup that it's from paintpoorstore.com uh, you will find link and discount code in the description box uh, this one is with eight petals, so we will see. And I will start. We'll just maybe change this like that with a little bit of pearl white. My pearl white mixture is Vallejo pearl medium with titanium white and pouring medium. And this is indigo. And I will add this funk next to it. Because I'm pretty sure that they will dry beautifully together and pour white again. And this lilac. And the magenta. again and Acapontus. Oh, this one is a little thick I think we will see and pearl white again <clears throat> and I will grab a skewer, a wooden skewer, and draw some petals. that I didn't add too much of this Agapanthus. I will 
remove this one first. And this one next. And I will just leave it like it is and spray my paper napkin with water. If you are new, uh, I like to use paper napkin, you can use dry one, you can use spray, you can spray it with water, you can use uh, plastic, saran wrap, a lot of things to do, a reverse flower dip, but I prefer my paper napkins and I prefer them dumped this is the right word I think because it is a little softer then and for me easier to to lift I have quite a lot of paint I think and lift it towards the middle nicely hopefully it will look really really nice when it will dry because of all these pigments I just want to do a little something here with this middle part if I can okay I think that I'm done now I really love how this lacing from these little piggy pigments um, white and these little piggy pigments it's just so beautiful I will just add a little of my base around just to smooth it out a little bit it will level out while drying mostly just to help it level out a little bit okay and at this point you can you know uh, spin it out if you want but I like it like it is and I don't have problems with cracking so I'm not 
worried about too much paint on the canvas so wow i love this flower so much a final torch and just Agapanthus and pearl white together, and this funk and um, well, indigo just leave this um, edge, you know. Uh, just don't know if I like that part. I will just try to dip. Gently here. You can correct a lot of things with your finger with pouring techniques, so... Almost perfect for me. Wow. Wow. This flower is so beautiful. And I know that it'll, it will be even more beautiful when it will be dry because of pigments. Okay, I'm done. Wow, wow, wow. Make it down for a close-up. So here it is. Amazing. Look at those. This lacing. I love this Agapanthus. In Slovenia we say Agapanthus, this is a flower if you don't know, just stunning. I want to do one with the same colors on the black background. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if the background is the right color, but as I said, it is kind of springy looking today and I use this uh, background. So hopefully it will be dry soon enough. To show you the the dry result with all the shimmer and the beauty if not see you on the next one bye